This is the necklace that we're going to make. And here is the necklace in another color scheme. So let's talk about the materials that we're going to need. For this necklace, you're going to need four millimeter round crystals. I have about 50 of them here. And you're also going to need two colors of 11 check seed beads and a clasp. So let's get started. I'm using a size 10 needle with six pound fire line. And I'm going to start by putting eight of the main color seed beads on, a clasp, and eight more seed beads. And I'll string that on. Then I'll go back up through all of those beads to form a loop. And here's where I can tie a knot. Next, I'm just going to go through the next seed bead in the loop. Next, I'll put on three of the alternate color seed beads, two main color and three alternate seed beads. And I'll string that on. Next, I want to go through the two main color seed beads in the loop that are before the beads I put on. So I've formed a loop. I want to continue through the next alternate color seed bead. I'll skip the next seed bead and go through the next four seed beads. Pull that tight. I'll skip the next seed bead and go through the next four. I'll skip this top corner seed bead again and go down the next three. Now I'm ready to start my first large component. And uh, the first way I'm going to show you how to do it is the um, easier, slower way. Um, and so if, if uh, this pattern is new to you, um, this is a, an easier way to do it, but it takes a little longer. This is also the way you want to do it if you have continued your thread and you have a knot that needs to go through the beads. So um, later I'll show you a quicker, but a little bit trickier way to do it. Um, and you wouldn't do that way if you have a knot that has to go through beads. So I'm going to start with the simple way. I'm going to add 12 main color seed beads and I'm going to string that on. And I want to, this turned so my thread is pointing up. 
I want to skip the two that are in the diamond plus four more. One, two, three, four, and then go through the next two seed beads. And that forms a loop. Um, if there's a little gap there, you want to pull that tight. Slide it over. We're going to turn this loop into a diamond by skipping um, every other bead. So we're going to skip this next bead, which will be a corner, and go through the next seed bead in the loop. And that bead I skipped is sort of sticking out like a corner. I'll skip the next seed bead and go through the one after it. And pull that tight. Skip the next seed bead and go through the one after it. And we'll skip the next seed bead and go through the next one. Okay, next we want to go through the next three seed beads. Next, we're going to put on six main color seed beads, four alternate colors, crystal, and another alternate color seed bead. And we'll string that on. Then we want to go back down through the crystal and the next seed bead. Hold the crystal to pull that tight. Next, we'll add three alternate color seed beads. We want to go through the main color and the first alternate color. We've made a loop, and now we're going to make a diamond out of this part here. We're going to skip the next alternate color seed bead and go through the next one. Pop that corner out, pull it tight. Next, we'll skip the seed bead that's right next to the crystal and go through the next one. Then we'll skip the next uh, seed bead and go through the next um, alternate color seed bead plus that first main color seed bead. And that should make another corner right there. Pop it out if it's not sticking out. So now we have a diamond here. Next, we add one main color seed bead, and with our thread pointing up out of this um, diamond, we're going to go through the corner of that diamond and the next seed bead. Now that kind of moves the loop around, we're going to turn this into another diamond, skip the corner, and go through the next seed bead. We 
making sure that corner pops out. I'm going to skip the next seed bead and go through the one after that. going to skip the next seed bead and go into the one after that. Then we skip the next seed bead and go through the one after that. And now we can either skip this seed bead and go through the next two or go through all three, up to you. We'll make one more diamond by putting on seven of the main color seed beads, stringing that on. I'm going to flip this over so that my thread is going up. I'm going to go through the corner of this previous diamond and through the next seed bead. Just made a loop and we're going to turn that into a diamond by skipping every other bead. Skip the next bead and go through the next one. tight. Skip the next seed bead and go through the next one. Skip the next seed bead, go through the next one. tight and then we'll skip the next seed bead and go through the next one and then you can skip the next seed bead and go through the next two or just go through the next three up to you Now if I flip it back over, I have three diamonds and then one down here with a, with a drop. That's the first part of our larger component. Next, we're going to put on 13 of the main color seed beads and two more of the alternate color seed beads. And we're gonna go left to right through the tip of that middle diamond. Add another alternate color seed bead and go down through that second to last alternate color seed bead. And we want to make sure this is pulled tight at this point and there's no gaps in this loop. Next we add a crystal and a main color seed bead. String that on. Go back down through the crystal. and back through the alternate color seed bead at the base of that crystal. Next, we're gonna frame this crystal. We'll add five main color seed beads and go through the seed bead at the tip of the crystal.
add two main color seed beads, and go through the last three main color seed beads and the next alternate color seed bead. Okay, we want to make sure that's pulled tight. And coming out of that alternate color seed bead, we want to continue through the next three main color seed beads. They're around the crystal. Next, we add four main color seed beads. And now we want to connect back through the previous component. Now, if, if this is flipped around this way, you want to make sure that your thread is going down this way, or that the, the uh, line of beads is going that down that way. And you want to go through the two seed beads that are main color in the, in the side of that diamond of the previous component. and pull that tight. Now here's where we want to continue to zigzag over to the other side. So I'm going to continue through all of these seed beads on this side. I can either go through the last one or not, or skip it, doesn't matter, it's a corner. I want to make sure I'm, I'm uh, pulling tight here, make sure there's no gaps here or here. I'm going to zigzag the other direction and I'm going through all four seed beads. You could get, just go through the first, the, the, the three there. You're not going through the corner if you want, depending on where your needle wants to go. And I'm zigging, zag, zagging back over through these three or four seed beads. And now I want to go up uh, two seed beads and six more. So two on this side of the diamond plus six more, eight total. If I'm going through, if I counted right, I should have four over here. So I have four and then eight on the needle. We've made our first large component. Now we're going to make our first smaller component with a drop. Next, I'll put on three alternate color seed beads, two main color, two alternate color, a crystal, and an alternate color. I'll string that on. I want to go back down through the crystal in the next seed bead. Hold the crystal to pull that tight. I'm going to add one alternate color seed bead and I want to go through the two main color seed beads in the loop and the next alternate color seed bead. I'm going to skip the next seed bead here and go through the next three. No, actually the next four. 
So going through alternate color, two main colors, and another alternate color. I'm going to skip the next seed bead that's above the crystal and go up through the next four. I'll skip that seed bead at the top again and go down the next three. All right, now I'm ready to make my next large component. And this time I'm gonna do it the um, quicker but trickier way to show you. If you're not comfortable with that way, just keep doing it the way um, we did this one. We're going to put on 12 of the main color seed beads like we did before. String that on. I'm flipping it over so that my thread's going up. And here I want to skip the two main color seed beads in the previous diamond plus the next four and go through the next two, skip one, go through the next one seed bead, skip one, go through the next seed bead, skip one, go through the next seed bead. Now here, I kinda wanna move all the skipped seed beads over to the left, it's just a little easier. I'll tug on this side of the thread. I'll put my needle through but before pulling it all the way tight, I'm going to tug on this other thread in the loop again. And then I'll pull the whole thing tight and push it around to the left. So that just made my diamond with almost all the corners. I'll continue by skipping that next corner, going through the next seed bead. And I can either skip the next corner and go through the next two seed beads, or I can just go through all three, whichever is easier. Next, I'll put on six of the main color seed beads, four of the alternate color ones, a crystal, and another alternate color seed bead. And I'll string that on. And I want to go back down through the crystal and the next seed bead. Hold the crystal, pull that tight. Add three more of the alternate color seed beads. String that on. Here is where I'm going to make a diamond here. I'm going to start by going through the first main color and the next alternate color. I'll skip one and go through the next one. I skip the next one which is at the base of this crystal and go through the next one, skip the next one, and go through the last one. Once I've pulled my needle through, I'm going to push it all down, kind of tug on this other loop of this other thread before holding it to pull it tight and pull it around to the left. Here is where I'll continue through the main color seed, the first main color seed bead I started the loop with. Okay, so we have made another 
diamond drop here. We're going to add one main color seed bead and string it on. And we want to go through the corner of this first diamond and the next seed bead. Skip the next one, go through the next one. Skip the next one, go through the next one. And skip the one that's connected to the diamond and go through the last one that you just put on. Okay, before pulling the whole thing tight, I'm gonna tug on this side and then pull the whole thing tight when looping it around. Pulling that tight. Then I wanna skip this corner and go through the next seed bead. Kind of closes it up. And then I can either uh, skip the next corner and go through the next two, or I can just go through all three. Next, we'll put on seven of the main color seed beads. String that on. We'll flip it upside down so that the thread is going up. We'll go through the corner of the previous diamond and the next seed bead. Skip the next one, go through the next, skip the next one, go through the next, skip the next one, go through the next. Kind of push them all to the left, all the skipped beads to the left of the needle. I'm going to hold it, pull my needle through, and also tug on this to tighten it. And as I tighten it, I want to pull it over to the left to complete that diamond. Then I'll skip the corner, the next seed bead, and go through the next seed bead. And then we can either skip the corner and go through the next two or just go through all three, whichever is easier. Next, I'm going to put on 13 of the main color seed beads and two of the alternate color seed beads. And I'm going to go left to right through the tip of that middle diamond. I'll add an alternate color seed bead and go down through the second to last alternate color seed bead. Pull that tight. Add a crystal and a main color seed bead. String that on. Go back down through the crystal. Hold the crystal to pull that tight, and then back through that alternate color seed bead at the base. Next, we'll frame the crystal. We'll add five 
main color seed beads and go through the seed bead at the tip. Add two seed beads and go through the last three main color seed beads and the next alternate color seed bead. Pull that tight and you want to continue turning this around. Um, you want to continue through the next three main color seed beads along the side of the crystal. Add four main color seed beads and with the crystal pointing this way we want to go through the two main color seed beads in this previous small component. And here's where we're going to zigzag our way back over to this side. So I'll continue through these seed beads. And continue through the next eight seed beads, which should leave four at the top there. No, let's see. Let's make sure I've counted right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then four over here. That looks right. Pull it through. Now I'm going to make another smaller component. I'm going to add three alternate color seed beads, two main color, two of the alternate color, crystal, and an alternate color. And I'll string that on. I want to go back down through the crystal and the next seed bead. I'll add one more of the main color or alternate color seed beads. String that on. Here, I want to go through the two main color seed beads in the loop of the previous component, plus the next seed bead. Skip the next one, go through the next four. Skip the next one, that's the next to the crystal, and go through the last one you just put on. Pull my needle through and pull it over down to the left. Next, I want to go through the next three seed beads. And down the next three, or skipping this one at the top and going down the next three.
So pretty much you want to just continue this pattern until you've uh, reached your desired length minus say a half an inch and you want to end on a large component and then I'll show you how to add the last uh, bit to um, make the clasp work. Um, if you do have to continue your thread with a knot, um, which I can show you how to do, um, you do want to just um, do the easy, simple way after after that, um, the kind of just going through one seed bead at a time or two at a time um, until the knot is, uh, you know, worked through. So um, I'm going to uh, continue this and then show you how to end it. Uh, finish the necklace. I've made a bunch of these. I'm going to just um, do another large component using the quicker technique just to show that again since it's a little tricky. I'm going to add 12 main color seed beads and string that on. Flip this over so my string is pointing up. I'm going to count six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and go through the seventh, eighth, skip one, go through the next, skip one, go through the next, skip one, go through the next. Flip all the skipped beads to the left of the needle here, and I'm going to pull my needle through, and then pull on the other thread, the loop, before fully tightening it and pulling it around to the left, which makes my diamond. Skip the next bead, go through the next one, and then skip one, go through the next two, or through the next three. I'm gonna pick. Next, I put on six main colors, four alternate colors, a crystal, and another alternate color seed bead. And I'll string that on. I'll go back through the crystal and the next seed bead, hold the crystal as I pull that tight, add three alternate color seed beads, string that on, then I want to go through the main, last main color and the next alternate color, skip one, Go through the next, skip the one that's above the crystal, go through the next, skip the next one, go through the last one. Again, pull this through, tighten this loop, and then pull to the left. You want to continue through the Main color seed bead. I'll add one main color seed bead, string that on. With my thread going up, I'm going to go through the corner of the, this uh, diamond and the next seed bead. Skip one, go through the next, skip one, go through the next. Skip the one at the tip of that other diamond and then through the last one you just put on. I'm going to pull that through, but I'm going to tug on this before I pull it tight and bring it back around. I'm going to skip the next seed bead and go through the next one. And then through the next three. Add seven seed beads, string that on, 
and flip this around so that my thread's pointing up. I'm going to go through the corner of the last diamond in the next seed bead, skip one, go through the next, skip one, go through the next, skip one, go through the last. Pull all, through, all of them to the left of the needle, all the skipped beads, those will be the corners. Pull the needle through, tug on this side of the loop before pulling the whole thing tight and going to the left. Skip the next seed bead, which is the last corner, and go through the next seed bead. Flip that back around and go to the next three seed beads. Next, I put on 13 main color seed beads and two alternate color seed beads. And I go left to right through the middle, the tip of the middle diamond. Add an alternate color seed bead and go down through the second to last one. And a crystal and a main color seed bead. String that on. Go back down to the crystal. Pull that tight. And go through the alternate color seed bead at the base of the crystal. Now we'll frame the crystal, add five seed beads, go through the seed bead at the tip, add two seed beads, main color, go through the last three main color seed beads and the next alternate color seed bead. Then continue up through the next three main color seed beads around the crystal. Make sure everything's pulled tight here. Add four main color seed beads and go down the two main color seed beads in the smaller previous component. Now we'll zigzag to the other side. Continuing. Coming out of that corner, I want to go through the next eight seed beads. Going through seven there. And one more. That's eight. And there's four left there. So I know I'm coming out of the right place. I'm about a third of the way through the necklace and I've run out of thread. So I'm going to attach another segment of thread. I'm going to tie a square knot with the two ends, the previous thread and the new thread.
so I've tied a knot. Now I take a lighter and touch both ends. That was a torch lighter, but it can be any lighter. And I can feel that there's a, now a ball on the end of each of the ends. So now I can pull it tight. And now I have connected a new thread to work with. Now, as I continue making the next small component and big component, I want to just go through one or two seed beads at a time until my knot has been worked through. Then I can continue um, with either the, the um, trickier but shorter way or continue just whatever way is most comfortable until I reach the length of necklace that I want. Then I'll show you how to end the necklace. Okay, I've made my last large component and I'm about a half inch away from my desired length of the necklace. So I'm gonna finish off the necklace here by adding three alternate color seed beads, two main color, three alternate color seed beads. And I'll string that on with my thread pointing up. I want to go up through two of the main color seed beads from the previous component, the next alternate color, skipping the next seed bead and going through the next four seed beads and then skipping the second to last one and going through the last one. So I'll hold the, the skipped seed beads on the left here, pull my needle through, tug on the loop to make sure it's, there's no gaps and pull it around to the left. Then I'll go continue up through the two main color seed beads, through the next seed bead, skipping the corner at the top, that seed bead, and going down the next three. Now I'm just gonna make a loop for the clasp to connect to. So I'll add 14 seed beads for this final loop. Four, eight, 12, 14. I'm gonna string that on. I'm gonna flip this over so that my thread's pointing up and I'm going to go through all of the main color seed beads. Then I'm going to continue through the two seed beads and the previous component. And here is the, um, the necklace is pretty much finished. This is the loop that the clasp will connect to. So I just need to weave back through a little bit um, and tie a knot. So I'm gonna just continue through the previous component, the next seed bead, skipping this corner, going through this next three seed beads, and maybe continuing through thread path here under the crystal and after going through these two main color seed beads. I'll tie a knot here. So I put my needle under the thread. And 
and I go through the loop once, go through the loop twice, and pull. And so that is the completed necklace and the clasp can now connect to this final loop. That's our finished necklace. We just need to snip the ends.